This video discusses how to graph a regression line for the purposes of a presentation. You can also edit this graph to put into a paper or use it in any, any other kind of way. This is actually a follow-up video from a previous one I made about how to graph a regression line using SPSS. So do make sure to watch that video first so you can figure out what the values are that need to be placed into the graph. So I'm going to be working with the same data that I was working with in that last video, um, just for consistency sake. So we're going to start with a blank PowerPoint presentation slide. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete these boxes just because we don't really need those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on insert and then on chart. And this will give us a bunch of different options of charts that we can put into our presentation. So for this first example, I think this one's best used when you just are trying to graph the relationship between one X variable and using that to predict one Y variable. So if you just have a single X variable and a single Y variable, I would use this X, Y option. Um, a little bit later, I'm going to show you how to use a different option if you're trying to graph more than one relationship. But let's start with the simple one first, which is clicking on that X, Y option. And then I'm going to go up here to where it says scatter with straight lines. So it just has these lines in a chart. And I'm going to click on that and you should see it show up here. So once that's there and selected, we'll click OK. And you'll see by default, it just starts with some random X values and some random Y values. So this has three different X values and Y values. And in the last video, we just looked at the X lowest value predicting Y, and then also the X highest value predicting Y. So we can just change that to reflect the fact that we had one, or sorry, we had two different X values predicting two different Y values. So to do that, I'm just going to hover over here at the bottom of this highlighted area, and I'm just going to click and move that up to just highlight these four boxes here. So we used in that previous video, we used our X lowest value was zero. So I'm going to still just use that as my X lowest value as zero. And our X highest value in that last video was 10. And we use those two values to plug them into the regression line to find out what their each of their predicted Y values would be. So when we plugged zero into the equation in that last video, it gave us 3.243. And then when we plugged in 10 into that last regression equation, it gave us the value of 11.623. And you'll notice as I've entered these values here, it's changed how this graph looks. So once you have your X lowest and its corresponding Y predicted value, and then your X highest value in the corresponding Y value. Once you've entered those two in there, um, you can just actually just exit out of um, this Excel chart because now we already have our, our graph set up here. Um, you can change the design using all of these layout options. So you can use one of the quick layout options if you prefer one of those just a basic kind of graph. You can also add in various uh, chart elements like a title, axis title. You might want to um, label your axis as, I think it was quiz one maybe. Quiz one was our X value. I'm going to get rid of this one. So you can just highlight and delete things you don't want. So quiz one was our X and let's go ahead and add an axis for our vertical line as well. And I believe this was quiz two. You can also change the colors of the lines and, you know, just mess around with all the options to make it look how you want it to look. And you'll see up here in the chart tools in the design and, you know, add, I showed you how to add different chart elements, but also um, you can change things here 
through this side option that allows you to change different things like the chart area, the axes, and so on. So just mess around with the different options to get the graph to look how you want it to look. So now I'm going to show you an example of how to graph data that's representing a bunch of different relationships all in one graph. This would be ideal if you have a single dependent variable and you're using a bunch of different things to predict that dependent variable. Um, so you might have several different regressions that are being used to predict the same dependent variable. So the way that we can insert a bunch of different uh, relationships all into one graph is again, we're going to start by this insert and chart option. And instead though, here, what we're going to do is we're going to select this option that says line. So we're going to select the line and we can just stick with that first um, basic line that will work um, well for this. So click OK from here. And again, you'll see it inserts a, uh, a graph with a bunch of random data already. So we're just going to format this to how we want it to look. So now our X axis is here labeled as category uh, one, two, three, and four. Again, we just want to change this to be our lowest X value. So I'm just going to put low here since we're dealing with a bunch of different variables now. Um, so our lowest X value and our highest X value. And I'm going to get rid of those two bottom um, categories by again, just clicking in the corner and moving the highlighted area. <clears throat> and the different series are each of these different lines that you see here in the graph. So if I have, you know, um, one regression where I'm using one variable to predict my Y, that's the first series. My next regression would be the second series and so on. So let's say that I'm trying to predict happiness and the things I'm using to predict happiness are, let's say, sleep and maybe events. And then let's say hunger. So each of these or each of these columns here is representing a different regression analysis. So this would be your X low value in that regression analysis using sleep to predict happiness. So you'll use that same procedure to calculate the low X value. So I'm just going to say that I'm just going to insert random numbers here, but let's say that uh, when we entered our lowest possible value for sleep into our regression equation and then our highest possible value of sleep entered into our regression equation, those are our two corresponding predicted values for y. And then we have to have a, a whole different regression equation for this next series. So we'll have from our regression analysis, we'll have a new regression line for each of these different variables. So let's say that events, we had two and six. And then for our hunger regression, we're going to also, again, have a different regression equation that we get from the output. So each of these different columns is representing a different regression equation. We're just presenting all of that information in one chart since we're using each of these X variables to try and predict our outcome, which was happiness in this case. So with hunger, let's say it looked like this. Now that we have all of our data entered into our Excel spreadsheet, we can go ahead and click out of that. And then the next thing I would do is just go to this quick layout option and choose the option that looks most like how you want yours to ultimately look. Um, so you can choose any of these. It kind of just depends on your preference for how you want your presentation to look, but I'm going to go ahead and select this. And just like before, we can add chart elements like axes um, and we can add in 
data labels that will label each data point. We can do anything um, as far as the formatting. You can also change the different line colors if you want by double clicking on them. And over here, it gives you a bunch of different options for changing it to make it look the way that you would like it to look. So I recommend just playing around with all the options until you get your chart to look how you want it to look. Um, always make sure to label your Y axis with what your dependent variable was. So in this case, we are, uh, let's see, get the horizontal axis. And in this case, our dependent variable was happiness. So I'm just going to add that in there. And so you can move that label around too as well. Um, so just mess around with those options and get it to look perfect for your presentation. So one last note is that even though we created this in PowerPoint, we can also just copy this entire figure. We can copy it and then paste it directly into almost any other program. Um, but in particular, you might want to copy it into another PowerPoint presentation, or you also might want to copy it into a Word document. Um, I would just edit it and get it to look the way you want in a single PowerPoint first, and then worry about copying and pasting it somewhere else. Um, and then you can also save this file separately so you can easily access and edit just this figure on its own later.